The United States recorded more than 91,000 new COVID infections on Election Day. The nationwide seven-day average of new daily cases now stands at more than 86,000. That is more than double what it was on September 4th, according to data from Johns Hopkins University. Missouri has now passed 200,000 cases. Local and state health departments reported more than 3,000 new cases. The number of new cases sets a new high for single-day reporting of new cases, surpassing the previous high just set Tuesday. 44 more people have also died in Missouri. On the Kansas side, health departments added more than 2,700 new cases. There are now more than 93,000 total cases in the state. 36 more people were reported dead. We just threw out a lot of numbers. Now let's talk about what that means. Let's get to 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan talking to health departments across Kansas City. Charlie, it's such a critical time right now. What did they tell you? Well, Lindsay, to be straightforward with you, they're concerned from here in Jackson County to Wyandotte County. They are not happy with this upward trend in cases in both Missouri and Kansas. I kind of put together a graph here with the new daily uh, cases reported in four local health departments. The lines may look a little jumbled together, but you get the general idea that they're trending upward there on the right side of the graph as we head into November. In some cases, those lines are higher than they've been in the, in the worst, what we thought was the worst of this, and around the July-August time frame. When I spoke to the assistant director of the Jackson County Health Department, he said he's concerned for a couple of reasons because this kind of has a domino effect. Follow along with me. He says if uh, more people get infected, well then contact tracers can't keep up, which means people will be spreading the virus without even knowing they're sick and then hospitals fill up. All of these indicators that we're looking at are, are, are pointing in, in a direction that we, we really don't want to be um, to be heading really uh, to, to, to be frank, you know, I think, um, you know, we're, we're constantly, um, you know, monitoring for that sharp increase uh, in cases per day that that really could uh, spell some trouble for us. How do you get us all out of trouble then? There are things that you can do at home. The Jackson County Health Department is preaching this kind of new motto called hands, face and space. So Ray and Lindsay, hands, wash your hands, cover your face and keep space between you and the people around you. Hands, face, and space. That is the message they want people to hear this morning. Oh, we all need to be repeating that, right? Thank you, Charlie. So, Charlie, Missouri voters chose to keep Mike Parson as governor. How will his approach to the coronavirus impact local health departments now? So yeah, that uh, assistant director here in Jackson County didn't think there would be a whole lot of change really in how Missouri approaches COVID-19. He said that the uh, state of Missouri actually gives them a lot of tests that they use to test the community. For example, they're holding a testing event here at this church later today. He says the state of Missouri also gives them some flexibility, Lindsay, so that they can do things differently on the local level. For example, Jackson County has a mask mandate, but Missouri as a whole does not. All right, Charlie Keegan live for us this morning. Charlie, thank you very much.